We got these glass doors for pretty much nothing, but they are glass. Not ideal for an entry closet. So we thought about thrusting it or painting the backside of the glass, but curtains fits the style of the house much better. It's a simple DIY that took me a few hours to complete and I love the result. So let's do this. First step, take measurements. If you want specific details on how much fabric and wood you'll need, you can pause this video in one, two, three. Step two, the curtain rod. You can buy a one by two in pine, rip it at half an inch if you have a table saw. Otherwise, the easiest is to buy a molding like the one I linked in the description. It is already cut at the right size. It is easier, but a bit more expensive. And then he was alone, alone. He cut it with nothing but scissors, scissors. <laughs> wow, this was a joke. Um, I'm spending way too much time alone. And yes, I cut it with a saw. I then sanded everything with a 120 grit. I painted them with leftover white paint that we had, but you could also skip that part and listen to myself. Even though I try every time, I just can't open cans of paint with my bare hands. <laughs> and if you haven't already done it, please subscribe. I post all the time about lessons like this and DIYs and makeovers. Okay, step three, the curtain. I had linen leftovers from a different project that I've cut two panels of 24 by 40. The panel width is double the size of the glass, which was 12 inches, to give some nice pleats. I don't know if pleats is the word, but you get me. And the height of the fabric panel is the height of the glass with extra fabric to loop, to attach to the rod. And I cannot speak. <laughs> I looked for a good color of tread with what I had and I was able to find something that was close enough. I'm definitely not a sewing wizard, but what I know is what I learned from my mom and my grandma. It is enough to do simple stuff like this. I started by making the hem of the long edges first. I folded the edge twice and sewed it together. For the part that loops around the rod, I measured two inches and a quarter, but first I made sure it was big enough. I've put pins to keep it in place and sewed the edge. And I sewed the edge with the pins in place and removed the pins afterwards, because it's easier. Step four, installation. I drilled both edges of the rod with a little piece of wood underneath, screwed one side so they stay together. I've put the curtain on and screwed the other side. I repeated the process for the four sides. To install it on the door, I started from the top, poked the surface with the screws, and drilled where screws left little holes. I then screwed the rod on the door. I did the same thing for the bottom rod, except that I really pulled on it, so that the fabric would be stretched, so that will make nice pleats. That's it. Check out my channel for more makeovers and DIYs. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>